Hello, this is the second part of the tutorial where we'll be learning to use the bone tool in Flash to animate a character. So we set this up earlier in the previous part of the tutorial. We have one layer in Flash which contains a music track and a second layer which is the armature or skeleton which joins together all the different parts of the character that we're going to animate. Now what we'd like to try and do is make um, the character move in time with the music. So we'll look at these this waveform here and and see where the, the peaks are in the waveform and that may indicate where the beats of the music are. Now to allow Flash to play back the music so that we can um, play and stop the music we're going to change uh, one of the properties of the music track so make sure the music layer is selected then over here under the sound settings we're going to set the sync from event uh, and change it to stream Okay, and that means that uh, when we press play here, we can hear the music playing and we can also pause it um, as we watch the animation. Okay, so we've set the music up, now we're going to animate the character. So I'm going to go along to about frame number 12 or so here, and we'll see that there's a kind of a peak in the, uh, the waveform in the music layer, and I'm going to insert a keyframe. And in this keyframe, I'm going to move part of the the, the uh, character. So what I'm going to do is move this paw, this front paw here. Now I'm holding down Shift on my keyboard, and you'll see that I can move this paw around um, and kind of make it strum the, the guitar. So I'm going to move it up to this position here, um, and I'm going to then insert another keyframe, maybe at number 20, because there's no sound there. So I will insert another keyframe, and on that frame I will move the paw down. So again I'm holding shift on the keyboard and just dragging it with the mouse down to that position there. And that will create a little animation of the paw moving. So the paw moves up, strums the guitar and moves down again. Now, for e on each of these keyframes I can move other parts of the cat if I want to. So I can click on the head. Again, hold down shift and I can maybe make his head move over to one side and then maybe in frame number 20 I can move the head over to the other direction and kind of make him kind of bop along with the music so I'm going to continue doing that inserting keyframes like so um, I can also press F6 on my keyboard to insert keyframes if I want to so um, just move this back here. I can also use move uh, the, the other arm if I like. So if I select that one, perhaps he it could be uh, doing some work on the frets there. This is proving a little bit tricky just to grab that instead of the head. So just make sure I grab the right part of the, the arm. And I'll just keep doing that. Keep inserting keyframes by pressing F6 or choosing Insert Timeline Keyframe. And then just moving the character and animating them sort of step by step like so. And you'll see that Flash automatically motion tweens the character like that. And I can keep doing that for the duration of the entire music track. So this music track is about 30 seconds long so you'll see that uh, Flash has extended the timeline to well over 700 frames in the length so it may take you a little while to kind of complete your animation there um, by inserting keyframes um, and moving the different parts of the character to make it look as though they're, they're playing the guitar along with the music. Okay and then once you're finished you can save out your file like so. And then you can test your animation by choosing Control, Test Movie, in Flash Professional.